Okay, I'm gonna talk about the equipment and uh, software that I use for doing my audio editing. I use a Zoom H2N microphone for my recordings. I bought this in, I wanna say 2008 or 2009, a long time ago, but it is one of the best um, mid range, as in cost, microphones that you can get. The reason why I like this microphone so much is because it has five microphones. So you have multiple settings that you can choose from. Um, as you can see here, it has MS, which is really great for like speech. Like if I was, when I do my podcast, that's what I use. Um, and then X-Way is kind of a similar thing, but you get a little bit of um, like stereo effect. And then you can choose between two and four channel, which is your surround sound, which I do the two channel setting when I do my recording um, because I want the acoustics of the room. Now this microphone um, records frequencies from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz, which is really important for what we do as opera singers. We need microphones that can record data over 5,000 hertz. Um, that's also why you should try not to compress your audio. Um, I suggest using WAV, uh, AAC. Uh, there's one other format that has um, lossless compression or little to no compression. Um, I also, I usually put this in the middle of the room when I record and um, it has a little red light at the top that tells you that it's on, one, but two, um, if you are over peaking the microphone or um, it's too loud, it will flash and this microphone has a gain setting that you can adjust, um, which is great. So a lot of times when I set up for recording, I'll do one of uh, my more dramatic or loud phrases and I'll watch the light and make sure it's not flashing. And if I see it flashing, I'll adjust it and turn it down a little bit um, because I do want right that wide range of dynamics um, so I don't want the gain to be too far up because if it is then everything kind of sounds loud and then you're over peaking the microphone and you're just getting fuzz rather than actual good sound quality. Um, so the two apps I use for audio editing I use Audacity. Um, it is a free software and I think it's pretty user friendly. I know other people use GarageBand um, I'm just more familiar with Audacity. I've used GarageBand before, but I just found um, Audacity to be a little bit more user-friendly and to my liking, to my style. And then um, for video editing, when I want to align my video with my audio, which are recorded at the same time, just on separate devices, uh, I use OpenShot, which is an open source video editing software, and it has everything you need. I know I've seen, um, blogs and stuff suggest a, a program called Blender. I don't suggest Blender for two reasons. It's a really, really big um, resource hog on your computer, so it's gonna take much longer. And it's also not first designed for video editing. It actually is a 3D modeling program used by um, graphic designers, video game designers, things like that. It, it really is not meant for video editing. You can do it, but um, it, it won't be as easy and streamlined as using something like OpenShot. Um, and these are all applications that are for Windows um, and Linux. I'm not sure if they're available on um, Apple. I'm not an Apple user, so uh, someone else will have to check that. So that's the setup I use. And I just use my cell phone to make my video um, because my smartphone, like most people's smartphones, has um, HD 1080p or 4K video um, recording capabilities, which is great. Um, and the reason I do my recordings myself is because I, like many other of us artists, don't have um, that extra amount of cash to pay someone to do the um, recordings for me 